Hello, I'm the Marmoset, and this is Future Marmoset, because for the first six minutes or so, the audio goes wrong. Why am I talking over this launch? Well, because this launch, this launch doesn't go very well. Um, this is us on our way into orbit with Dondin. We're going to try and see how far high we can get. And it's like, yes, heroism and all the rest of it. But we get so far, and you can see we're about to pop the solid rocket boosters on. Generally, at the moment, with reasonable amount of control, pitching gently over to the right, we're just about to start thinking about doing gravity turn. They pop off, they then explode as they bang into each other, so get free, and then we lose control. <laughs> and I go, no, no, I'm not having that. That was just me screwing up with the launch profiles. Nothing wrong with the rocket design. That's just me not paying attention and trying to turn over far too soon. Much too much atmosphere. So, adjusting the throttle, so we've got a bit more thrust, because we've got a swivel engine on this one, so we've got a bit more performance, and up we go again, rocketing into the sky. So this time we're going pretty much just straight up. <laughs> um, I'm applying a little bit of um, sideways, just a little bit of sideways, just to move us over a little bit. Just, yeah, rocketing away. So, reaching a speed at... Um, deployment of 685 meters a second is pretty good. So now we've got much more rocket power going up. Um, now we're actually accelerating after the drop off, and now I'm just being so much more gentle with nudging this over. I am very much waiting until I'm past, I'm into the darker blues, shall we say, on the atmospheric meter at the top. And then, yeah, now I start the tilt over and just swing it around to see your apparatus is coming up. Aiming to get the apparatus, well, I think I end up aiming for about 100 or so. Um, see, we've got plenty of fuel in this stage. Plenty of fuel. Lots and lots and lots of fuel. There's too much, there's far too much fuel. This is an overspec rocket for the altitude, the orbit altitude I'm going for at the moment. But right now, we're just basically pushing up 1,000 meters a second, getting that up to 100, at which point I'll go, yep, I'm happy with that. Kill the throttle. Still losing a bit of speed at this point because we still have a bit of atmosphere. Um, it's the point that I will actually, was not the atmosphere worth talking about, so I will tilt over, well, just tilt over a bit more really, bring it all the way over to 90 degrees, moving it gently, moving it slowly, um, you've seen previous episodes where I try, happens if I try to swing it around a bit too quickly with these things, there's you know, no drag, nothing to stop you just over swinging and wanging yourself off into the distance. So I declare myself happy with that orbit, that orientation, and then it's a case of going, all right, well, I need to kind of get to apparatus now. I'm in space. You can hear the space music. Engine's not happening on. Um, so I decide, science. Is there no science? No, nope, apparently no science. In space, near Kerbin's water. That's basically what we got. <laughs> you don't get much. Nowhere near as much the resolution as when you're flying over lower of it. So this is just kind of me waiting a bit and loitering. Checking the atmosphere's alright, checking how far out we're going to go. It's orbital one's on its way, yep. Yeah, it's, this is going reasonably okay. So now I'm putting just a little, I think if I added a little bit of thrust, or am I just still washing off the last bit? Yeah, just adding a little bit of thrust, apparently. Just to tweak and see how much of a difference it makes. And now I'm gone looking for Kerbal's alarm, because I want, let's just warp straight to the apoapsis. Turns out I can't do any of those because I haven't upgraded the tracking station. This is me realizing this in a second where I go, ah, and there we go. Can't look great at the track station. And then I go looking for the button. <laughs> so all of the buttons. Boink. There we go. So now I just use a normal time warp and vaguely guess it and get it wrong. <laughs> uh, I've done this far too late for the amount of burn I need to do. Far too late. Uh, I should have started burning a lot earlier. This will be something that will get fixed later on <laughs> when we start getting maneuver nodes and maneuver planning options that come with all the other bits and pieces. Shiny and fun. So we'll deal with those, but yeah, this is burning, 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 burning. Increasing that orbital speed. You see we're clipping along at this 14,000 meters per second, 15,000 meters per second, 16,000 meters per second. So the rate of acceleration is increasing, basically, as we more speed, add more speed. I think there's an equation based in the faster you're going, the easier it is to make yourself go a bit faster. Always talking about the wrong equation. So yeah. At this point, I'm just burning at full thrust, and I'm trying to work out what's gone wrong. Why, why is my speed not increasing? At this point, I realize that, oh, I've got to stay. And the little rocket engine kicks in again, and up goes this speed. More speed! More and more speed. So, 
This is basically us achieving our orbit. Accelerating and accelerating and accelerating, and there we go. There we go. So you'll hear now, for the next few minutes or so, lots of noise interference. This isn't Kerbal noise interference. This is my audio equipment suddenly realising it wants to go, huh? What? Eh? Trying to figure it out a little bit. We've got plenty of fuel left, and around now, I'll say bye bye as future Marmoset, and I'll hand you back over to past Marmoset when he starts wondering about, well, why can't I get any more science? After, of course, he's checked the orbits. Turn that off so we don't want to run out of fuel. Look at the planet spin. Hey, eh? You're in orbit, Dondin. You're in orbit, and I'm pretty sure I can get you down in one piece. Well, while we're up here, since we're reasonably safe, achieve orbit. Orbit Kerbin. Orbit complete. We can pop back to the Space Center briefly. Mission Control. Explore Kerbin. Return to Kerbin from orbit. Doink. <laughs> Have that. Do a low resolution scan of Ninlis. Alright, it's a scan set thing. Well, we need to get a scan set there and the rest of it. While in flight above. While in flight above, I don't think our orbit path, orbital path, takes us over the zone. I do not want to play around with my orbital path anymore. I have to. Everything else is not interesting. No. All right. So. Crew port over C21. Temperature scan over this. Are we tracking station? Are we due to fly over any of those? Not really. Not in a way that I could possibly call reliable. No, not really. <laughs> uh, you. I would like to fly that craft. So, yeah, we've got a mission to come back down. Which is nice. Um, but for the moment... What I care about is bipping around in space. Space in the shores, curve of water, grasslands, mountains. Really? Apparently, we don't have any experiments. I would have thought we'd have had some experiments, given that we were flying over some of these places. Well, we did put a temperature thing on it, didn't we? Space near Kelvin. All right. We're gonna say in space. And you say crew report space Nick Kelvin. All right. So apparently we don't need to really worry about it. All right. Well, in that case, let's um let's um bring ourselves around. So we get around to our So let's let's. Say we've done a complete orbit. We've gone all the way around. Hmm? We've gone all the way around. Space over the highlands. Hmm. All the various tracking stations and the rest of it. So, with that in mind, let us say we've gone all the way around. Which basically means 
going over the top of the KSC. And then we will point our little rocket ship, and it is very small. Woohoo! Alright, so I've got a fair bit of control authority here. No. No. Okay. And let's bring ourselves in nice and gently. Bring that down to the back 30, basically. That means we are thumping quite nicely into the atmosphere in the dark. Maybe, but also we might land somewhere interesting. It's unlikely, you never know. Alright. There it is. A very, very gentle re entry. Suspect mostly what will be happening in the dark. Well, we can say we've gone all the way around. Hmm. Well, I'm going to keep hold of the fuel for now. Might need it for when we're trying to land. Time warp up by 50%. It'll let us know when we hit the atmosphere. There we go. Yep, I know. Space is like that. So, not much more we can do from that view. We are going to be coming down in the dirk. So uh, turn the lights on. And time warp up a bit. I think I will time warp down. Rotate. I don't need that engine. I'm pretty sure we're good. Go away. And that's how much control authority we apparently have right now. Just pop it off that way so it's going to be in a very different orbit from us. There it is, so it's already lower. And falling away, so we're not in any immediate danger that that might hit us. We're going in pretty quick. What I understand, I don't need SAS. Because said vessel is very aerodynamically stable. We might lose a couple of experiments apparently, they're getting a bit hot. I am going to go ahead and push the button to deploy the parachute as soon as the game tells me it's safe. Lots of altitude, lots of speed. Lots of horizontal speed to get out, get rid of. I think we might lose the science experiments on the outside, but I'm only seeing a temperature thing on them. So here is why you need to come in at a certain angle. So I'm beginning to wobble a bit too much there. What's got yellow? All right, the base. Possibly we may need to do a slow down a bit more. No actual temperature reading on it to tell me how dangerously hot it's getting, but we're slowing down. Still got plenty of altitude. Should be dropping below 1500 meters a second soon. Just a bit probably coming home from space is so difficult. Because you're going so fast. If you slow down too much, you'll land too quickly because you won't have enough atmosphere to slow yourself down with, which is why we've got all those nice heat shields like the one we tested a few episodes ago. So it doesn't look like we're going to lose anything. Our uh, temperature rating on our heat shield on our little cruise actual is now telling me it's safe. We are coming in gloriously flat. You can tell by our trajectory here. And we are now below Mark 3. Plenty of space and time to slow down. Should start to see our trajectory start to bottom out a bit. So we lose horizontal speed. We're still unsafe. <laughs> no, you know, I'm not doing EVA at back 2.5. There goes the parachute. This is a normal parachute, I hope. 
All right. Congratulations, Dondon. You've been to space and back. <laughs> so, we are currently flying over the grasslands. What is it about us landing in grasslands? We couldn't have landed, I know, anywhere else. No, no, in grasslands. Probably what I should have done is try and aim for the desert, maybe. But uh, I was more concerned about making sure we came home at all. That's the main thing. So, Dodden, you're going to get a load of absolutely no signs. All right, fine. Wasn't worth me bothering with it. Probably a fair chunk of experience points for Cess for coming home from orbit where other Kerbals have failed. Not due to your fault, you know, but mine. Apparently I'm not that far off the ground. No, right, that's it. We're not that far above sea level. There's dirt. There's no shadow. There's barely any terrain texturing. Yep, let's get us on the ground, London. Let's get us on the ground. And then we can think about what other clever little space missions we can have. Alright, nice and safe speed. Doink. Mission report. Congratulations, safely returned home. Safe returned home. Huzzah! And woof and happiness. Recover the vessel. Fated is Dondin the first Kerbal to return from space alive. <laughs> so we got a fair chunk of but We got eight hundred thirty. That much money back. I don't know how much the thing cost. We think made about forty or so. Well, actually, we're above three hundred thousand. We were below two hundred thousand last time, so we made a fair bit of money off that. You have advanced the level. We've got an extra couple bits worth of clever things. You've got first Kerbit Orbin. First Kerbal to successfully orbit around Kerbin. Exceptional contract ribbon. Exceptional contract. And a speed. Would if any speed record greater than 100 meters a second. Congratulations, Dondin. You have gone fast and you have gone far. Explore the Mun? They want us to go out to the moon. Moon? Moon! I don't know. I probably could have done that. I know. It's popping far. That speed range the bit of so we've got to get up above 8,000. Alright, I'm going to pick that one off. And we'll finish the mission off, finish the episode off with that one. So it's be above 8,000 and have the nose parachute. And I certainly should be able to do the speed. Alright, that's fine. Let's pick that one off and get it out of the way. Uh, we are probably going to use a little plane for this. Let's use a drone plane. That we want. No, it's too big. Four fuel tanks. We'll have the little Juno engine. Coupling, don't need any of those. Need aerodynamics. We will have. No, feel too small. Symmetrical, central mass, central thrust, central thrust. Put you back there. We apparently will need intakes. You're enormous. Alright, let's try that again. We can get everything ready. Alright, we will have. Structural. Good up. Good up. Aerodynamic. Tail section. Tail section. No, you're still too big. Symmetry. Oh, that's a pair of them. No, no, that's the button of wrong. Thank you. Aerodynamics. Small circular intakes. Thank you very much. Engines. Little Junos. And then I will have aerodynamics. 
Little wings? I, don't, I just don't know if I have enough lift. Oh, you like the center of lift and go quite far forward with a sweat wing. Alright, that's looking kind of metal. I like that. That's looking kind of awesome. Alright, now we need control authority. Alright, we'll just go with the detail. And then we need to grab the wings. Alright, looks like that's not as close together as I would like. far as I possibly can, so I can, no, that's the wrong, I want to these as far forward as I possibly can, alright, fusel, get rid of that, that, aerodynamic, that one, Good, uh, no, that's the entire plane. <laughs> I can't do that one because everything's built around right that. Alright, grab that. Are you gonna let me attach the girder there or not? Alright, let's get rid of these for just a second. Fine. Straight wing instead, then. And I am. Um, this is a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Um, I was going to go for an awful lot simpler craft than this. I really was not intending to. Uh, this will be the the dragonfly. Because I think that's what it vaguely looks like a bit. I'm going to save this craft because I like it. But let's go slightly there, shall we? You know what we need to do? We need to be going that fast between that altitude. So, let us grab one of them. It's a parachute. Can't get it on. Okay then. Hold. Parachute. That altitude and that speed. A basic fuel tank. I would like a reliant engine. I would like more utility. I would like four of these parachutes. Don't then. Ah, they'll go on up. You're gonna be fine. No, no I need the SAS. Don't then. You're a busy Kerbal, aren't you? Alright, check the staging. Engine between that altitude and that speed, fire that parachute. All right. Sorry, this episode has apparently run on a little bit. Decided I wanted to try and do this thing. All right. Minimum thrust. Launch. Alright, 
don't want to be accelerating. I just want to be going up at a consistent rate. There we go. Let's get on. Back. Push to the X and space pretty much at the same time, so kill the engine from the parachutes. Kill the engine. Pop the parachutes. Alright, and while that lot of ridiculous set has successfully done, I will call it a day. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I have been the Marvel set. That was yet another part test. We should be coming straight back down to the launch pad. Pretty much, but we should be fine. Bye for now. Oh, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. It always really does help.